Yeah, hi friends. Today we are having Avinash Kumar with us, one of our course enrolled students with Gate Applied Courses, and uh, he appeared for the Gate 2022, secured All India Rank 25. So congratulations, Avinash, and uh, give you a brief introduction about yourself. Thank you, sir. Uh, sir, my name is Avinash Kumar. Okay. My origin is I I hail from Bihar, mm -hmm. and, but I live right now in Gujarat, Jamnagar. Uh, uh -huh. Okay. My father is an ex-serviceman and right now he works in bank. Yes, and, yes, okay. <laughs> and uh, this is about myself. Mm -hmm. And I started my gate preparation uh, on 5th of September. Okay. Only. And and this gave me time of total five months. Uh, my my okay. gate exam, gate run two exam was on 5th of February only. So this mm -hmm. gave me exact five months for my preparation. And uh, for this, I believed and I first checked out the demo videos, uh, the freely available videos of Gate 22 Applied Course. Okay. And I believe that uh, this will work for me, that okay. this, institute, uh, this uh, institute will work for me. So I took, I joined this uh, institute as course enrolled student. Okay. And uh, it was simple just to understand the concept. Uh, okay. I just watched the video one time and I completed those wa completed watching those videos on December in on beginning of December starting of December mm -hmm. I completed watching all of those videos and one thing which I omitted is that uh, since I had only 5 months of time according to me that was less time uh, because most of the students are preparing for one year or even two or three years yes. for gate exam yes. so I knew that I have less time so I didn't make notes and mm -hmm. uh, I already from the starting of my preparation, I checked the already provided notes of gate uh, applied course and okay. uh, those were fine according to the videos. I was okay. able to understand those notes. So I decided to revise through those notes only. And okay. one thing which I did, uh, which I will consider as mistake is that I didn't revise while I was uh, learning about the concept. Okay. The first mm -hmm. time uh, mm -hmm. between the subject, I didn't revise uh, one reason. Uh, there was only one reason for this is that I didn't have much time. So my priority was to complete the syllabus. Mm -hmm. So after that on December, I completed my whole syllabus. syllabus mm -hmm. And then I, I started revising the revising through notes. And after, uh, while I was revising, uh, I was sure to first revise and then give test. So mm -hmm. in, uh, by doing that, I was able to revise completely revise all the subjects or 11 subjects of gate three times uh, before the test. And then I did some partial or just overlook through the concept, uh, okay. short notes type revision, short notes type revision one time. Mm -hmm. so I was able to complete revision four times in that before the exam. Mm -hmm. And by in test series, my, my attempt or my strategy was simple just to uh, uh, just to start from the subject-wise test, uh, I mean, okay. topic-wise test and go to the grand test. But uh, I was sure that I have to understand each and every question completely and each and every problem which is there, which I'm not able to solve completely, okay. even if it is taking me more time. Mm -hmm. uh, due to this, uh, I was not able to complete whole 2020 test series. I okay. was left with all the mock tests. I was not able to complete those tests. But... Uh, Every test, every problem which I solved, I I was sure that I have I have understood I am understanding the concept of those problems, and okay. I was I had confidence. So this uh, helped me in the final exam, and I was okay. able to score the sixth rank. Okay, okay, good man. It's a very good test. So uh, you said like you know within five months you have done everything like including completion of the syllabus, then rev revision then start giving the examination. So how did you manage your time? Like how many hours per day you were able to spend for these preparations? Yes, sir. So I started with, uh, I knew that I had to give uh, more hours as compared to others. For others, okay. I think six hours will be enough. And mm -hmm. uh, I talked to some, uh, one mentor of your gate applied course only. Uh, okay. Just the day after okay. when I joined on 5th of September, I joined. And on 6th of September, I got a call, call from someone. And he told me to give at least 10 hours if I want to complete uh, mm -hmm. in at most at December, till December. So I, from the beginning, I was giving 10 hours, but uh, then I had job also. Okay. So the, 
what i got lucky is that i had just joined my job so okay. in essential the beginners uh, new joiners don't have much work to do okay so, okay yeah i was lucky that i was able to save some time from my job also but still 10 hours was not enough for me so i increased it to 12 and uh, when we came to last like uh, the last part of our preparation i increased it to 14 to 15 hours okay bro. i think mostly 14 hours 14 hours per day it is too good man it's more than like you know uh, 8 hours or 10 hours is a very good number and you said like you have given 14 hours per day. that that makes the difference right today you can see the uh, the results actually so your hard work has been. so uh, like uh, you said like you know you don't have enough time uh, for uh, even for revision as well as practice okay then how did you manage uh, your gate pvqs how many gate previous have you solved? Sir, uh, my, according for my gate previous year question papers, I solved it one time mm -hmm. and I solved it not solved. I didn't solve it during revision. I solved okay. my previous year question papers during the first time I was uh, studying about the topics. Uh -huh. So okay, okay. I told you you that that. At December, I completed my uh, all my first time syllabus. I completed my syllabus. Uh, mm -hmm. So every time when I was completing one subject, I was giving, I think, one or two days to complete whole 30 years previous question of, of that subject. So this I solved it one time only. Mm -hmm. So you said that, you, uh, like, you know, you have attempted only a few exams in the test series. So how was your performance there and how, how on an average, how many marks you scored? Uh, sir, uh, uh, it was like it was progressing with every exam. Uh, okay, at okay. first, uh, I was taking a lot of time also in exam, but I feel that the questions were also uh, such that the topic level question are kind of harder than the subject level test. Mm -hmm. I think I thought that. Uh, okay. But because but because the grand test includes every subject, that's why it was a uh, little bit harder than the topic wise. Okay. So at starting, I was uh, taking a lot of time while solving the questions, while solving the problems. But it only gradually improves, and it is just the result of practicing. I mean, okay. it only improves practice. And after uh, starting, I was think I think I was scoring two hundred rank in okay. the yes, in the topic okay. wise test. I think. Okay. Or mm -hmm. less than that, but not more than two hundred. Okay. I don't think I scored more than two hundred in any test. Mm -hmm. And uh, as I came towards the grand test, uh, and uh, I was getting good score 19 25 uh, okay. one also mm -hmm. my last test just before the exam i had scored one with 92 okay. marks mm -hmm. yeah that, that really like you know boosts your confidence before going to the final examination that that is yes, very sir, good that, yes sir that boosted my that had boosted my competition mm -hmm. confidence okay okay so very good so, uh, like you know if you're going to give some suggestions for the future aspirants who want to appear for this examination next year or uh, next year okay okay next to next year so what kind of suggestions you might give in for them my first suggestion will be to uh, uh, by seeing the paper and i had solved previous paper so mm -hmm. first suggestion should be to just never try to test your luck by depending on the formula don't okay. depend on the formula concept is really important in gate examination i yes. i'm i sometimes i try to decode that how the problem setter set the problem but uh, they really i somehow they really just set the problem that you can solve it truly with the correct answer only when you know the concept i mean even if you get just remember the formula it might happen just you will uh, get the wrong answer with one or two digits but it will be considered as the wrong answer only so you will be able to solve the correct answer through concept only. Other than that, consistency is required. And revision, while you are preparing for first time, I mean, through you are just completing the syllabus is important. I felt that because when I start, when I had started my revision, uh, I was feeling uh, some, like I forgotten this concept or I was not confident in various in various steps. So revision while we are preparing is important. Uh, and the strategy which is provided by you for that revision is good that uh, after every four subject we should revise and uh, that is but most important should be given to the subject and not to the formula yes. i i hardly i can hardly remember question which are in this year which are directly based on the formula i don't think there were much question which were hardly on the based on the formula 
Yeah, so very good, very good session, Savna. This might help uh, uh, for many of the aspirants who want to like you know give the examination for their coming year sessions for uh, for our data applied team and our course. No, uh, sir. According for data applied course, I don't. Uh, I like the videos, and uh, and I like the notes also. Or so, and the doubt comment session. I mean the question doubt session was also. I liked it. So I don't have any suggestion. No, no. Sir. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Next. Thank you. Thanks for joining uh, with us and sharing your experience, sharing your thoughts and learning experience with us, so that it definitely it might help many of the aspirants in the exam, like future examinations. Thank you. Thank you. Sir.